Good out morning guys, welcome to today's for video. Uh oh, we've been found out. Did we ever go to AW? Only for one person. We oh when did you go to AW? Never went to AW. Gabby never found a receipt. Gabby yeah, found a receipt in the back. We know it was you, Sam. I don't eat AW. I don't eat A and W either. Good morning guys, welcome to Saturday. Happy Saturday. We're going shopping today. We have to get some things for the show. We are shopping for the horse show. The horse show, we are about to enter horse show week. So that is what we have on the agenda today. Did you guys see, I tried to catch it, horses riding down our road. Not only were there horses riding down the road, they had a border collie. They had two dogs running free along with their horses. I wanna hook up with those people. Like, those are my friends. Those are the people I need for friends. Adults, maybe adults, I don't know. People riding their horses out there on my road. I know it's not my road, I just call it my road. People I could ride with. If we had the boys home, they could ride with me, but they're not home, so yeah. Anyway, welcome to today. Let's get our shop on. All right, we are here. We are at Green Hawk, and hopefully they have what we need. Uh, Gabby definitely needs a new show pad for Trillium, and the one that she has right now actually doesn't fit. All right, we say it every time. Which one? Okay, guess which horse do you like best? Uh, that one? The gray or I the like chestnut? Chestnut. 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 Alright, are we ready? I think that's the difference between hunters and jumpers. Hunters and jumpers. Oh, you're getting one? Alright, so this this Mondega boot cleaner, leather cleaner, all in one leather cleaner, it's so good. We're just gonna take them all. So Sophie's headed straight over to the Schleich section. That is adorable. And this one? Adorable. These would be fun for Brooklyn. You found the show pad? She found the show pads already. She doesn't have any straps. Do we need straps? Yes, we do. Okay. So this is... Okay, so basically about the show pads. You can buy really expensive ones or you can buy cheap ones. And like I told you guys before, we have a friend, Allison, Allie T on Instagram and she's a high level rider and she uses the cheap ones and she says because they don't last long so it's better to like buy the cheap ones and replace them regularly than to buy the expensive ones so the problem is we need the right size okay can you please find me one just one no no schleich that one looks like storm kind of it looks like penny kind of no. <laughs> when she's galloping looks like penny when she's galloping so we need a large. We need a full. Full. That looks full. Bigger than the one we have, but it looks too long. Oh, it's full. Oh, okay. Or we have these the ones. Oh, I need a dog. See, these ones are kind of like, these Mom, are cute. I need a dog. This one looks Aww. wide enough. <laughs> True story, that's my dream dog. Mom, this one looks wide enough to fit my saddle. Okay. My saddle is the wide back. All right, well, let's ask her because. How are you guys doing today? Good. This, this is how it works. So this is a regular close contact one, mm -hmm. okay? And this is, uh, this is a, this, so it's the regular size. Like, you know how we always have a short one? This brand comes in sizes. So this is for a this seven. This my saddle though. It's for a 17.5, 17 and a half inch saddle. But I have the wide part. It's not like normal saddles. It's true, she does have a wide thing. So you think you need this one, but it might not fit at the back is what I'm saying. But there's no straps on it. So, so the reason this doesn't have straps is because it's grippy and it holds it on by that. No? You want this one? <laughs> I mean this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we did some measurements and this is the one. All right, so next up we need I love socks. Next up, we need grazing metals, muzzles for the ponies because soon we're going to be putting them out uh, in the field as soon as the grass starts to grow. All right, you guys are in the dog section. That's cool. Um, I think I this one. Same. Yeah, this one's really neat. I love that. All right, let's go look at grazing muzzles. The fly mask. I know, I feel like we're going to need fly masks this year. New fly masks. Mm -hmm. Grazing muzzles. Grazing muzzles. Grazing muzzles. 
sweaty. Yeah, we don't want that one because it'll be too sweaty. Do they just order one? Yeah, so I don't think they have one for Willow. We might have to order one for Willow. So I think this is the pony one. That's too big. You think this is too big? Well, maybe not this part, but this part. Can it, how small can it go? All right, so we pretty much got everything we wanted. I'm gonna show you guys what we got in just a second, but I wanna show you guys my favorite breeches of all time. So these are elation breeches, and these are what I like. And the reason I like them is because they're really stretchy and really comfortable. Like, I don't like that spandex kind of material that's like leggings. This is what I, I like need. these, yeah, like these are my favorite. I have like about four pairs of these in black. And they're all worn out. Oh, these are the ones that I like. And these are the ones that Sophie likes. These are the new colors for summer. I like those green. They're they're cuter than Gabby's green. Gabby's are darker. They're cute, Sophie. They're nice and light. I should have bought these for the prize packs instead of the water buckets. Because that would be cute. Oh my gosh, they have these on sale. Last year I wanted this so bad. I told Sam I wanted it. It's a riding skirt, so you wear it. It's like wearing snow pants, and it keeps you warm, but it unzips so that it kind of like covers the horse too. And they're on sale now. All right, I could imagine, I could imagine Willow in this. They have this in mini size, and they have this in mini size, which is really cute with the pink. But I need to figure out what size Willow is, so we gotta go home and do that. And maybe we'll get our girls a rain sheet this year. I am gonna show you what we got. They're always super helpful at that store. Uh, we knew exactly what we were all going for. Uh, Gabby buys this all the time. She buys this all-in-one leather cleaner and conditioner. She buys it for her boots. Oh, we should've got sponges. We can get sponges at the dollar store. Did you guys know that sponges at the tax store are like double the price of dollar store pen sponges and they're just all sponges? So. Anyways, Gabby uses this, and I am dying to use this. Oh, yeah. Oh, Gabby, I need to go back. Why? Because I needed to get the stuff for our show. That's what I came here for. We need the grooming stuff, and we need... The grooming stuff. Mm -hmm. Miracle groom in a bottle, and we need... Um, braiding stuff, and we need... What was the other thing we needed? Okay, we're going back. Okay, so... Anyway, this Mondega leather cleaner, we, Gabby uses it, Kaylee uses it, all they do is spray their boots down, wipe it with a sponge, done. Like, they're so good. So we bought, all of us bought one of those, and then, okay, so we'll be back, I'll show you, because we gotta go back in there. Okay, they have mane and tail stuff, or quick braid, she wants the quick braid. Okay, so, the other stuff I need, that's neat, I've never seen that. Wound spray. So we need this, and we need something else. For a summer show we need to buy the bug spray. I think they don't have it here. Look at they have white fly masks. White you guys. You're a miracle worker. All right and we need these. Do they have bigger bottles or just those? These unless you want to buy the ginormous one. I feel like we should because we go through those yeah, this stuff. All right, so some of this stuff Gabby's gonna show, so I'm not gonna show you guys or explain about it. Um, but I'm gonna show you the one thing that I actually, besides the saddle pad, what I went there for was these. So you guys have been saying that you think that the ponies should go out into the big fields, and yeah, they should, they need to. But last year we had a big problem. We gave the girls a little tiny bit of grass in their paddock, like the tiniest bit of grass you could ever see. And Willow ballooned so fat that our vet came and was like, you need to like starve her now. Like you cannot give her any more food or she's going to get sick. And we're like, yeah, so she can't go on the grass. She just cannot go on grass at all unless this happens. And I know people don't like to see it and it's not that comfortable and awesome and nice but she needs it. But also, you see, had a really hard time with the grass too, not as bad as Willow, but she did struggle. So I got this, we're gonna play it by ear with Gracie. If she doesn't manage his grass well, then she can go out there. If she doesn't manage the grass well, then she's gonna get one too. And this is Willow's. This is the only one that they had in Willow's size. Uh, she says it's not winter, like it's got the fur on there. It's just to prevent rubs. I'd rather some other kind of material than and fur. And if Penny has a hard time with grass, we have Yeah, and if Penny has a hard time with grass, which I doubt she will because she was on grass when we bought her, 
then um I have already one at home for her. Horses really need grass. It has like vitamins and minerals and stuff in it for their muscles and that that hay doesn't have. Like it's like fresh food versus dried up food sort of. Like it's way more complicated than that. I get it, but the horses need grass, I believe. Anyway, we're headed uh, to the dollar store now and then we're gonna go home and uh, do some fun stuff with our horses because it is 1 p.m. and it is a glorious day. What's the temperature? It's 11. 11 degrees outside, I'm like sweating buckets. Okay, I found our horse buckets in miniature. They're adorable. So I was wrong, the dollar store doesn't have very good selection of sponges, they just have these. Uh -oh. Oh, Those Jesus. are good for scrubbing out water buckets. But we are always looking for sponges down at the barn. Let's get two packs. So, yeah, we'll get a couple. All right, I'm not going to lie. I'm sad. I'm sad because I hoped Penny and I would have the trailering down by now. You can tell her to go on Penny. And we don't. And that's okay, but we're doing something tomorrow, which... I wanted to do really bad. I wanted to be ready for it. I wanted to do it with Penny. It's not gonna happen. Come on, Molly. You should try it on Penny. And that's okay. All right, we are gonna try our muzzles on. Just don't talk about it, because Willow's gonna run away. Don't talk about it, Willow will run. Oh, well there we go. Gracie just stood right here. Okay, Gracie girl. We didn't get you a fancy one. Wow. You be looking cute. I need treats for my penny girl. Uh-oh. <laughs> Trouble in paradise. Trouble in Catchville. So hopefully, oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, he is gorgeous out here in the sun. You need help? Spring is a time when equestrians all over the world are pulling hair out of their mouth every, Third second. Fitz? What do you think, Great. What is do you she, think, Willow? Is she supposed to open her mouth? You don't think she can open her mouth? I don't. Oh no, I mean, it's got lots of room in there. Okay, this needs to be tightened. You think, Miss Willow? I also found a really cute blanket, but I gotta measure and see how. You are chubby. How did that happen? When we she was on grass, believe it or not, she was fatter than this. All right. Um. Like, I don't know if this part fits. Yeah, I think it does. But this definitely needs to be tightened and I don't know how to do that. It's already dirty. I dropped it. See how it's going. Okay, so I read it and... Can we take it off now? Yeah, Sophie's like, I hate it on her. She's like, I hate it on you. Here you go. Oh. Hi, Pin! You coming? Yeah, you're coming. So somebody said to teach her to target train to target train her I don't know what that is exactly but she does come and touch my hand when I call her and when we're doing training she touches my hand well hello touch my hand Boop. good girl yeah you hear the kids next door running yeah let's see you've been rolling yeah is that why you're itchy pee everywhere hello penny pickle hello how is it, Gabby? Gracie's fits. Gracie's fits? I like yours. This one feels too small. Well, I, I says that you only have to fit like your fingers in there just slightly. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, Mom, Gracie's mouth goes all the way to all the, the way end. to the end. Mom's doesn't. Cause I mean it's not tight, but I don't like how that lays on her cheek. I've seen horses in fields where these things are just flopping around and really loose. <laughs> She's like, help me, help me, I don't understand. How do I get the treat? Why is Willow's halter all around? Help me, is this? Penny's like, I am getting out of here. I don't like it, because the fluff goes to right at her nostril. Okay, so you think we should take it back? No fluff. Or loose it, loosen it. We can't do that or else it'll be off the muzzle. I know, I did not like the fluff at all, but that's all they had. And I like that. So, do you think we should just peel, peel off the fluff down there and leave the stuff at the top? If you can do it. 
All right, we'll take them off because they're not gonna wear them today anyway. To explain our field situation in Canada where we live, most people have a winter field, dun da da da, and then they have summer fields, dun da da da. So basically, we have to wait for the grass to come in and the ground not to be wet because if they just get running around out there, they're just gonna rip up all the ground right now because it's all wet and it will be for a little while. Uh, so we wait till the grass to come in and then we slowly wean them on to the grass and then we rotate the field so that we continue to have grass. So that's our plan. That's what we did last year with the boys and that's our goal. So that's why they're staying here in the winter paddock until until everything dries out. But today is the first day of spring. Happy spring! I have totally been wanting this stuff. Gabby and Kaylee have it. Gabby, are you on your second bottle of this? Yeah. Gabby's already on her second bottle of this. So basically, what they do is they take off their boots and then they just spray it and clean their boots after every single ride. It just makes it so easy because it's in a spray bottle. I had mud on my boots from being in the field yesterday, so there's like a little bit of mud on the bottom there, but literally it makes your boots look amazing. And because it's so easy, you can just wash them every single day. Like every single, before you even take off your boots, you can wash them. Here's the old one. And it's a conditioner too. I love it, do you guys love it? The reason I like it is because all the other ones that we have are like a cream that you have to rub on. This you just spray on. Um, oh, there's my leash. It always feels good to get the tack trunk cleaned out and it always leads away. It always leads away to the cleaning of the barn, to the cleaning of the tack room, to the cleaning of all the stuff. So watch for that, that's coming too. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. The last addition to the baskets is that boot polish, some Skittles, and I'm gonna add a little bit more chocolate into each basket, and then that's it. I'm gonna wrap these guys up, put our, our business card on them, and I'll show them to you in the next vlog. Don't you know that you're beautiful?